Hi, Chef Bryn here. When we're talking about your holiday turkey, cooking the turkey is actually only half of the art. The other half comes down to how you carve it and present it to your guests. Today we're going to tell you how to do your perfect turkey. We're going to make sure it's extra delicious, it's juicy, and we're going to plate it up with some really awesome Texas flair. The first step is know when your turkey is properly cooked and ready to remove from the oven. Some people go by color, or by time, or even the poundage of the bird. The best method is by temperature. 165 is the standard for turkey. Not only is it going to be safe, but also extra juicy for your guests. Here's an important step a lot of people overlook. You have to make sure you let the turkey rest before carving into it. That allows the juices to redistribute throughout the entire bird. Now create a nice foil tent over the top for 15 to 20 minutes, regardless of the size of the turkey. While the turkey rests, you'll have a few minutes to gather the tools you'll need to carve it. These include a large cutting board, preferably plastic, long bladed carving knife, your carving fork, and of course, your favorite platter. I'm gonna show you a non-traditional type of carving that makes it not only easier to cut, but extra tender turkey when it gets to the plate. We're gonna start off with the drumstick. Go ahead and pop it forward. You get the blade between the bones here. Slice it right off. Next, we're gonna go ahead and remove the breast. Now, instead of doing it like traditionally, where you slice it on the bird, we're actually gonna remove the breast and take it and cut it by itself. Find your center line, cut straight down, and get your hand right behind there and start pulling on it while you're cutting it away from the bone. So to get right on in there, cut straight down. You don't want to leave any of that great breast meat behind. There we go, set it to the side. Next, I'm going to cut the wing. For the wing, you want to just pop it forward and cut it loose. Now I'm going to do the other side. Starting with the drumstick, snap it back, cut between the joints. There we go. Let's do the second breast. Again, slicing down, pulling back and cutting the bone as you go. There we go. Set this one here. Now the wing, snap it, cut it loose. Okay, the last part here is gonna be the thighs. Now this one's connected to the backbones. So you have to get in there and break it loose. Separate it between the bones here. Now we're gonna slice the portions that we pulled away from the bird. Now if you notice the grains are going along this way, so you wanna check those before you start slicing. We're gonna slice across the grain. Roll your fingers back as you slice. Make sure you protect yourself. If you don't feel comfortable using your hand in there, it's a great time to use the tongs. Using a nice back and forth motion, not too much downward pressure. Next is the thigh portion. There are quite a few bones in the thigh, so we want to hold it up while we get a few nice slices from the top. There we go. Once you start hitting the bones, just go ahead and dive in, get the rest of the meat loose. All right, now we have the thigh portion as well as the breast and the drumstick and the wing portion I placed directly onto the platter. Now it's time to plate it. First, the two breasts and our dark meat, our wings, and two drumsticks. To give your turkey dinner a Texas twist, try it with a cranberry jalapeno relish. That recipe is available on hb.com slash cooking. It'll add Texas flair and flavor to your holiday dinner. Enjoy.